common breeze, the mesa to the western skies, with the sound of a thousand cattle drive. A chosen few would see the light and find the wrong with right. Up on the mesa, high above the clouds, there's a world apart from all the rest. On the mesa, live the real cowboys, standing up for law and order. Living by the code of the West Cleaning up the territory Keeping evil on its toes Takes a different breed of ride Rope and brave heroes On the Mesa Live the real cowboys Standing up for law and order And living by the code of the West Hey guys, welcome back to the Tubus High School Challenge recap. And this week, this week, this fortnight, we had been playing Wild West Cowboys of Moon Mesa. And I do apologize for the long title. It is the longest title I've ever used on a video since I started YouTube. Tubus High School Challenge, Wild West Cowboys of Moon Mesa. Now, why did I choose this game? Well, Wild West Cowboys of Moon Mesa, we'll just call it Moon Mesa for short was a cartoon I used to watch in the 90s, hence the intro there. That's the intro to the cartoon, obviously. So I thought I'd just uh, share that with you all. Um, yeah, I used to watch it when I was a little kid. I did enjoy it. It was never one of my favourites, and I completely forgot about this cartoon until I came across the arcade game, and I was like, oh, I remember this. So the childhood nostalgia flooded back, and I thought, it's my turn to pick. I have to pick this game. And I played it, and it was pretty decent. I really enjoyed it. Um, very similar similar to Sunset Riders, which I chose two years ago for the Tubers High School Challenge. And everyone enjoyed that, so I thought everyone's going to really enjoy this as well. It's the third Western game I have chosen for the Tubers High School Challenge. The other one being Blood Bros. So, yeah, there must be something about the rest, the cowboys, literally cows in this one that I enjoy these kinds of games. Um, a couple of people were unsure on this pick at first, but they did warm up to it. And we had 11 entries. Not bad, not bad. I helped a bit for a bit more, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. And some cracking runs. Okay, so in last place this week, let's get straight into it, is Electric Adventures, who scored 2,595. In 10th place is Harold Stuff, with 2,955. So not an awful lot of no scores. Ninth place then, Retro Hawk comes in with 3,635. In 8th place is my partner in crime, Retro Red Steve, who scored 4,045. So well done to you. 7th um, place, Mark Blaster the Gamer with 6,130. So a bit of a jump there again. Um, I think this is your second Tubers High Squad Challenge. So, hope you're enjoying it, dude. In 6th place is Kit171 with 6,670. Um, in 5th place it is myself, now another jump, with 10,055. Quite happy with that score, I was aiming for 8,000. Because you always want to do well on your own picks, right? And I don't usually beat um, Mike, Kit171, so that was nice to do as well. Uh, in 4th place we have Old Style Gaming, who scored 11,735. Some awesome scores here now and runs coming up. Your top three people though this week, in third place is Acidonia150 who scored 14,305, so a jump again there. And second place is my fellow Welshman, Dav Priest, who scored 19,130, awesome run, another big score, a uh, big jump in the score again. But your first place this uh, week goes to somebody who wasn't going to enter at first because it wasn't their kind of game. Warmed up to it, and he won with 20,155, and that is Zeus Daz. And um, he nearly completed the game. He died on the last boss. So, you know, fair play to you guys who got that far, you know, on just, well, one credit. I'd take me weeks of practice to do that, if I could do that. So, here's your table up close, if you can see it. Oh, what are you doing? Here you go. Yeah, 
So the next game has been chosen. What is it? I completely forgot. It's Mega Man 2, the Power Something or Ever Arcade. I literally looked at it before um, I came on here. I, I was like, I got a title's new style, the Power Something. Anyway, um, this one's a bit different. There's going to be three score, three score tables and one main score table because uh, it's, been, it's been chosen by Aston 150 and he said there's three paths you can go on um, so there's going to be a score table for each path and what if you can either choose us to do one path it's up to you or you can do all three and say for example I did all three whatever your highest score is in any of those then you take that that would go into the main score table and that would be your final score because Gary said all the routes are quite similar so the scoring is quite uh, the same as well and it's like the same difficulty so there you go if you can get your head around that I think I have then join me next time for your tubers high score challenge recap boom see you soon Thank you.